Well hello again and welcome back to another video. I thought I'd just share this quick little video with you. Um, many people ask me um, about good small trees for, for smaller gardens and I just wanted to share this spectacular um, holly with you this year um, and the wonderful berries. Um, hopefully you'll see them. I'll zoom in a little bit on some of them. This holly tree is absolutely laden with the most wonderful red berries. Uh, I think the holly tree makes an ideal uh, tree for the smaller garden. Uh, it is surrounded by myths and legends, which we'll have a look into um, a little bit later on. Um, but as you can see, um, I believe that, 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 I think altogether there's three holly trees here. These are about 50 years old, um, believe it or believe it not. Um, they originate from seed. Um, I believe they came from, it, it's an English, what I'd call a wild holly. Um, the seeds were collected um, from Rockingham Forest um, in the county of Northamptonshire and then grown in pots for the first few years. And as I say, these are now 50 years old. Um, so quite well established, but there again, not too big. And the beauty of holly, you can always cut it down or almost coppice it to a point. Um, you should never ever um, cut a holly tree right down as we'll have a look at um, in a little while. But um, I just thought it'd be nice to share these wonderful berries with you. Um, I think the pigeons are going to have an absolute field day on these um, later on. Um, I, in fact, there were even some on it yesterday. Ilex aquifolium the common holly. There is a widespread belief that cutting down a whole holly tree will bring very bad luck. This seems to stem from the fact that years and many centuries ago, holly was one of the few trees that kept its leaves the whole year, so was revered for this fact alone. Hanging holly leaves around the house was also thought to keep evil spirits away and used to charm against house goblins. Decorations for the house with holly should be burnt in the garden for, t for t continual good luck throughout the year when they are finished within the house. The Romans believed that holly also kept witches away. It was said that holly trees are magical and one should always ask the tree's permission before you cut a branch and take parts off the holly tree to put in your house and a, use, and a useful gift should be given back to the tree in return. Now I don't know quite what a useful gift could be but it, it could be um, some, some compost or um, some fertilizer or just make sure the tree is watered in, in the drier months. Um, holly trees were often used as boundary trees planted in the hedgerows. There again this was thought to prevent the passage of witches um, in the Middle Ages and, and pre-Middle Ages times because it was thought that witches used to fly along uh, low along hedges so the hollies were planted there to stop this happening in theory. Um, and there again folk folklore suggests that holly wood has an affinity for control uh, especially of horses and looking back in the midst of time most whips for ploughmen and horse-drawn coaches were made from um, coppiced holly wood. Um, so um, uh, the, the wood is a very white wood um, in holly and a very hard wood and it's also um, prized for um, inlay in furniture and marquetry um, as it's a very white hard dense wood uh, and holly trees were traditionally known for protection from lightning which seems a bizarre thing but there again I think that's because uh, the spiky end, the spikes on the end of the leaves almost act as mini lightning conductors and the leaves are very shiny, um, 
not a soft leaf, a very shiny, hard, dense leaf. And so they were planted near a house uh, to uh, prevent lightning strikes. And um, in European mythology, Holly was associated, therefore, with the, th with the thunder god Thor. Um, so as you can see, there's many myths and legends, and that's the tip of the iceberg I've just um, spoke about there. Holly is a very mythical, uh, wonderful um, shrub or tree, and grows in any soil types. It's not really choosy. Um, as I say, it, um, it may, may like a drink in the summer if it's a, if it's a young plant. Plant. Um, there's over 200 um, sort of varieties these days from variegated right through just just like this one the traditional um, native holly which does really well in gardens and as I say can be pruned does does well in hedges you can make a holly hedge it has loads of uses and in my view is a really good garden plant um, it's said that if you put slow if you put um, a holly leaves round some delicate plants like hostas they do tend to keep the slugs away so there's another use for some of the holly dried some of the particularly the dried leaves that fall off um, if you collect those up. Um, so there we go, that's my little thoughts on holly and just to show you this wonderful display in 2020 of this um, holly bush in my garden and the wonderful bright red berries that it has on this year. Thanks for watching and do come back and subscribe or like or comment and thanks again.